Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are going to be looking at replacing the heater fan blower motor on a 2010 Ford F-150. My particular work truck here, this blower motor has already gone out twice, um, but luckily I got a lifetime warranty from O'Reilly's Auto Parts for the fan. So I'm going to do a quick video on how to replace it. Uh, a couple tools, it should be a quick easy fix. Alright guys, so on this blower motor, there's three bolts. They are size uh, number eight. And the two tools you're gonna need to do this, it's gonna be easiest if you have a number eight ratcheting wrench. Uh, this is used for the very back bolt that sits up against the firewall. There's just not a lot of room for a socket. And then the two on the front, I'm just using a little mini number eight socket. And that's funny, it's in upside down. Using a number eight socket with just a ratchet wrench. Uh, these are for the ones up front. Those two are pretty easy to access. Um, so let's do it. Not sh so here's a video of the heater fan. This back bolt here is the one that you'll need a number eight wrench or a ratchet wrench. And then we got the one here, one back here, and then the plug-in right here for the heater fan. Heater fan is pretty easy to get to. Um, just sucks laying on your back. But let's get this thing out of here. All right guys, we got the heater fan out. I had to actually remove the panels on the side of the you know, floorboard here where it covers one of the fuse boxes, I think it's the fuse box. Um, I'm a big guy and laying sideways cricket in a, on a floorboard doesn't work well with me. I can't bend my arms like fucking Gumby. But the three bolts, actually they're screws, but that big. They're not that big, so you don't have to work a lot of them out. If I could get my electric socket in there, I should have used that. It would have been a hell of a lot quicker. So the blower motor basically falls down. You've got to twist it a little bit, work it out. Luckily, there's no mouse nest in this one. Um, I'm about to put the new one in, reverse order, um, plug it in, and hope that's the problem. Hope it's fixed. That's the thing. So number eight socket a number eight open-ended box wrench. Uh, the blow motor costs about 143 bucks at uh, O'Reilly's. Um, I'll put a link below to one on Amazon. Um, and there we go, that's it. All right guys, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed or hope the video helped you a little bit. My vehicle is a 2010 Ford F-150 XLT. Don't know if it makes a difference or not on the other models. I'm not a pro mechanic but I just wanted to send this video out to help some people. Thanks, have a good day.